first responders in New York and New Jersey, they were busy this past weekend. A couple of explosions to deal with and dozens hurt. Joining us on 710 KURV for, uh, with an update is Tanya J. Powers, live from New York. Tanya J., uh, welcome back to the show. Um, the, the incident in New York and New Jersey, have, have those two been linked? Uh, not officially. Okay. They are still looking into that, trying to kind of connect the dots, and there's uh, even more dots to be connected. There's an FBI raid underway right now along with the ATF at that home uh, near the train station in Elizabeth, New Jersey. They're searching it. Uh, of course, this comes after the uh, the pipe bombs were found near the Elizabeth, New Jersey train station in a, a, in a trash can, in a, uh-huh. in a backpack. The pressure uh, cooker bombs, right, Tanya? The pressure cooker bombs were the ones in Chelsea okay. uh, on Saturday night. These apparently seem to be more like pipe bombs from what we understand. One of those went off when the police robot was uh, was trying to secure it. Um, I think the other four are still intact. But the uh, the pressure cooker bombs are the ones that they that they say were found in, in Chelsea. Of course, one of those exploded uh, Saturday night. I was actually uh, down in Chelsea about an hour and a half, not quite an hour and a half, after the explosion happened uh, and was there for several hours covering what was going on. We actually were about a block away from that second device when it was found uh, on 27th Street. And, and anybody that's not real familiar with wow. Manhattan, Chelsea is on the uh, west side, just a few blocks south of Madison Square Garden and Penn Station. Okay. Uh, that second device that, that you mentioned, that you you had no idea it was there or were authorities con- converging over that thing and... and- <laughs> Yeah, we learned that they were that they were looking at a possible second device in a different location. It was about four blocks away from where the first one went off. Uh-huh. Um, we all scrambled up and, and got as close as we could. Like I said, we were about a block away from um, from that one. Okay. They uh, that's when they brought the containment device in and later moved it up to the Bronx, where they studied it and got all the information they could off of it, and then had to do a controlled detonation of it yesterday. All right, uh, give us giving us an update right now on the New York and New Jersey explosions. Uh, Tanya J. Powers joining us on Seven Ten K U R V. Tanya, Tim Sullivan here. Do we know who these five people are who are being questioned by the FBI? Apparently five people who were stopped in their car in in Brooklyn in connection with the Chelsea explosions. Uh, hey Tim, yeah, we, you know that's that's the other thing that they're wanting to know. The FBI is is questioning them, and uh, I understand they they got them last night. They pulled them over. What we are uh, Fox News is reporting on our channel is that the, when they pulled them over, the uh, the car had a lot of weapons in it. Now oh. we don't know any uh, really any other information about the about the people that they got that they are now questioning. That we do know that the FBI's uh, New York office says they have not been charged with any crimes at this point. But apparently they're getting some leads they stop these five people they're they're raiding a house as you just mentioned as well so mm-hmm. there is certainly progress being made here and, and fairly quickly it seems yeah uh, and I mean the the devices they're doing a lot of you know comparison I guess between the ones in Chelsea the ones uh, in New Jersey last night and also the one uh, in New Jersey it's around the seaside Heights area that was on Saturday morning at that the marine 5k. Uh, they're trying to see if you know all of these things are, are related or if they are made by the same people. They are different kinds of devices. The pressure cooker bombs were more like what we saw in the Boston Marathon bombing. Mm. Yeah. The uh, ones in Elizabeth seem to be more along the pipe bomb kind of uh, you know realm. Mm-hmm. So well, if I mean, they're, yeah, if they're not you know. if they're not related, the uh, timing and coincidence would be uh, very interesting. Extremely uh, eerie. Yeah. yeah. How did the weekend incident affect the commute for you guys up in New York today? Um, the, as far as the stuff on, on uh, Saturday night, um, it, there were a couple of subway lines that were uh, affected the, uh, a couple of the main subway lines actually, because the, uh, where the, where this area is in Chelsea, it's, uh, one of the main avenues down the middle of Manhattan is sixth Avenue. And it was between sixth and seventh, uh, in Chelsea. Those are two of the, you know, pretty good travel. So can you see more security on the streets today as compared uh, yes, to there is more week? security okay. there is especially in the subways they're being very very careful wow. there's a lot of national guard um they, they're doing bag checks they, they do that from time to time when there's an incident they feel mm-hmm. like they need to ramp up security so that's not odd but it's it's more comforting to see them in the subways when something like this is going on wow tanya thank you tanya j powers live from new york joining us on 710 kurv